Hello everyone, how are you today? Thank you for visiting my channel, Mass Lover and More. I hope that you are all well and healthy, and I hope that you will learn more about math today. Our objectives are graph linear equations in two variables and find the slope of a line. To start with, let me give definition of some terms. Linear equation. It is an equation in which the highest exponent is 1. Its graph is a straight line. The standard form for linear equations in two variables is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is the numerical coefficient of x, b is the numerical coefficient of y, and c is a constant. It is a number without a letter beside it. These are the examples of linear equations in standard form. 4x plus 2y equals 10. The a is 4, b is 2, and c is 10. Next example, 3x minus 6y equals 12. The a is 3, the b is negative 6, and the c is 12. There is another form for linear equation, and that is slope-intercept form. It is in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Example for this is y equals 2x plus 4. The slope in this uh, equation is 2, and the y-intercept is 4. We have also some other examples here. 3x equals y. 3x equals y is also in slope-intercept form, only that it has no uh, y-intercept. If we rewrite it in this way, y equals 3x, then the slope is 3, and the y-intercept is 0. We also have other examples. y minus 4 equals 0. It is not in standard form. It is not also in slope-intercept form. We have another example, x plus 3 equals 0. You will learn more or you will know more about these linear equations as I discuss to you uh, how to graph them. Linear equations are important in reality. Almost any situation where there is an unknown quantity can be represented by linear equation. Linear relation is useful uh, with situations that have a regular increase or decrease of quantities. For instance, figuring out income over time, calculating mileage rates, budgeting or predicting profit. Many students resent having to learn algebra in high school or college because they don't see how it applies to real life. Yet, the concepts and skills of college algebra provide invaluable tools for navigating business solutions, financial problems, and even everyday dilemma. The trick to successfully using college algebra in real life is determining which situations call for which formula and concepts. Fortunately, the most common real-life problems call for widely applicable and highly recognizable techniques. We will talk about the applications of linear equations more in the next videos. For now, I will discuss how to graph linear equations and how to find the slope of a line of linear equations. These are the steps in graphing linear equations. First, change the equation into a slope-intercept form. Second, make a table of values for x and y. Third, plot the points on the Cartesian plane. Let us now graph linear equation 3x minus 6y equals 12. 
So, this equation is in the form, standard or general form. So, we transform it into a slope-intercept form. So, to transform it, we will transfer or transpose those expressions that should not be in the left side of the equation. In slope-intercept form, the left side of the equation should only be y. And so, we transpose positive 3x to the other side. When 3x is transferred to the other side, the positive 3x becomes negative 3x. And so, it becomes um, negative 6y is equal to negative 3x plus 12. So, the 12 will remain there. And since it's positive, we have plus 12. And then we divide negative 6 with negative 6, and it becomes 1, 1y. One and so it is just equal to y. Equals negative 3 divided by negative 6 is positive 0.5x, and 12 divided by negative 6 is negative 2. And so the slope-intercept form of that linear equation is y equals 0.5x minus 2. And that equation will be used in finding the points to be plotted on the Cartesian plane. So we will proceed to the second step. We make a table of values for x and y. And so we have x. Since x is the independent variable, it is where we will substitute any number. And for me, I will use 0, positive 1, and negative 1 since it's easy to compute with these values. So when I will substitute these numbers to the equation y equals 0, 5x minus 2, then I will be able to find the values of y. Okay, so let us start with x equals 0. Y is equal to 0 0.5, and since x is 0, so we multiply 0 0.5 with 0 minus 2. And so it becomes y equals 0, since 0 0.5 times 0 is 0 minus 2, then y is equal to negative 2. That means our x is 0 and our y is negative 2. That is our first coordinate. Second, we let x be equal to 1, and so we substitute it. y is equal to 0 0.5 times 1 minus 2. So 0 0.5 times 1 is 0 0.5 minus 2 is negative 1.5. So our y is negative 1.5. So the second point or the second coordinate is 1, negative 1.5. The, the numbers in purple color. Next, we let x be equal to negative 1. And so we solve. Okay, we substitute uh, negative 1 to x. That becomes y equals 0 0.5 times negative 1 minus 2. 0 0.5 times negative 1 is negative 0 0.5 minus 2. Then y is negative 2.5. So, that is our third coordinate, negative 1 and negative 2.5. So, we will go to the, to the third step in graphing. So, those three numbers, or those three pairs of numbers become our three points. So, the first point is 0, negative 2. The second point is 1 negative 1.5 and the third point is negative 1 negative 2.5 so we now plot these points we plant the first point 0 negative 2 as you can see the one with a red point that is 0 negative 2 okay the second one is uh, that is positive 1 negative 1.5 so there are already two red points on the Cartesian plane. The third point will be negative 1 and negative 2.5. So that one there, 
that's the negative 1, negative 2.5. So we can see three points on the Cartesian plane. And these points will be connected for us to find, uh, for us to have the graph of the linear equation. Okay, so when we connect the three points, we now have this line. Okay, so these three points here, we connected them, 0, negative 2, and then 1, negative 1.5. And then negative 1, negative 2.5. When these three points are connected, the line that is formed is the one that you see on the screen. So this is now the graph of the linear equation 3x minus 6y is equal to 12. This is how it looked like. Okay? So... That's it. We proceed to the next example. Okay. Graph the linear equation 3x equals y. So the first, change the equation into a slope-intercept form. As I have told you earlier, that uh, given is already in slope-intercept form. And we will just interchange it so it will become y equals 3x. You see, equations, equation is commutative. So the order doesn't matter. So y equals 3x. So our uh, slope is the 3 and the intercept is 0. Okay, the next is make a table of values for x and y. So we will always uh, uh, substitute values to x. The x is the independent variable. So I usually use 0, 1, and negative 1. So we will have x equals 0, so y is equal to 3 times 0. So 3 times 0 is 0, that is why our x is 0 and our y is 0 also. Next, we go to x equals 1. So y is equal to 3x, then y is equal to 3 times 1, so y is 3. So you can see there, the next coordinate is 1, 3. Next, we have x is equal to negative 1. So we substitute negative 1 to x, and so y is equal to 3 times negative 1, 3 times negative 1 is equal to negative 3. So our third point will be negative 1, negative 3. So the third step is we will now plot these three pairs of numbers. So we have 0, 0. We plot 0, 0 and that is the origin. Okay? In the Cartesian plane, the 0, 0 is the origin. Okay, next... We plot 1, 3. So you see uh, the one there. <clears throat> okay, so the, the, car, the origin is this one. That one. Okay. And then, okay, that is the origin. And then the 1, 3 is here. 1, 3 is above here. I hope it will be that part. Okay. This one. Okay. Ah. Uh, and then the negative 1, negative 3 is in here. Negative 1 and then negative 3. Somewhere here. Okay. Somewhere there. So uh, you see that uh, we have the three points. This is the origin. And this one is the negative uh, positive one three. This one is negative one negative three. And so when we uh, connect the three points, okay, 
Okay, we connect the three points that becomes our graph, our line. So to show it clearly, uh, for a while. Okay, so that becomes our line, this one. So we have here the 0, 0, the 1, 3, and the negative 1, negative 3. Okay, so this is the 0, 0, the 1, 3, and the negative 1, negative 3. So those three points. You see the point with the red one, the red colored point? So those are the three uh, the points. 0, 0, negative 3, and neg uh, positive 1, 3, and negative 1, negative 3. And so we connect them, and that becomes our graph for the linear equation 3x equals y. Okay. So that is now clear. So we will proceed to the next example. Okay, graph linear equations that is y minus 4 equals 0. So change the equation into a slope intercept form. So we will transpose negative 4 to the other side. That becomes y equals positive 4. As you can see, the the given equation now is y equals 4. There is no more x. And so, we could not make a table of values because there is only y. There, there is no x. And so, we plot the point y equals 4 on the Cartesian plane. We will only plot y equals 4 on the Cartesian plane. Okay, there is no x, man. There is only y. So, when you plot y equals 4 on the Cartesian plane, okay, when you plot y equals 4 on the Cartesian plane, y equals 4, okay, that will be, we will be looking for where is that part where y is equal to 4? So, it is in here, that part, this part, all of these here, y is equal to 4. That one there. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, so this one here, so all this one, that one, the line, that is where the y is equal to 4. So you can just line, uh, put a line there, so that becomes your graph. It is in that area where y is equal to 4. We have different x, but uh, we, don't, uh, we don't consider that one. We just, uh, we just consider the, the, the idea that y is equal to 4. So that becomes a line, a straight line. It's a horizontal line. Okay. So that is our graph for y minus 4 equals 0. It's a straight horizontal line. Okay? So let us proceed to the next uh, given. Graph the linear equation x plus 3 equals 0. So we change the equation into a slope-intercept form. So we transpose positive 3 to the other side. And that becomes x is equal to negative 3. This time, this linear equation has no y. There is no letter y. And so, what will happen? So, we will just consider the value of x. 
So, there is no y, so we could not make a table of values. So, we will only plot the point x is equal to negative 3. So, we plot that. Okay. So, how do we plot that one? This is now... Okay, so this is now what x, x is equal to positive 3. When it's transposed to the, to the right side, it becomes negative 3. And so we will now look at where, which part where x is negative 3. So the x negative 3 is in here. So this part, uh, this one, there that line there okay this one oh sorry okay that is where x is negative 3 so we form a line here that straight line there okay so that is the x is equal to negative 3 whether it's below or above you will always see that x is negative 3 we don't, we don't care of the y. We only care of the x because according to our linear equation, x is negative 3. So when it is x, when there is no y, the, the, lin, uh, the line graph is vertical. When there is no x, the line graph is horizontal, the graph of the linear equation. Okay. So we have here the graph. The, the, the orange line is the graph of the linear equation. x plus 3 is equal to 0. So let us now have the summary of this graph here. So we have the graph for 3x minus 6y equals 12. 3x equals y. y minus 4 equals 0. And x plus 3 equals 0. Looking at the graph of the four linear equations, we can see that there are differences here. As you can see, the first graph, 3x minus 6y plus 12, uh, it slants, it really, it is, it has uh, the slant, <coughs> mm. the slanting, the slant of the line, it is slant to the right so it is not that steep the line is not that steep on the second 3x plus y the line is very steep <coughs> so if you are looking at a, at a stairway in the graph in number one linear equation number one that is uh, it's okay if you if you walk on that stairway Okay, it's not that steep but if you walk on the stairway stair stairway with the steepness like this in number two three x equals y that is really dangerous it's very steep okay in number three y minus four equals zero there is no steepness there you see uh, it's horizontal there is no steepness that is why uh, the slope there is zero x plus three is equal to zero that is a vertical line uh, 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 the the slope there is actually undefined so the steepness of the line is what we call the slope so we will now we will now talk about the slope of the line okay so the meaning of the slope it is the measure of the steepness of a line the vertical it is the vertical change over the horizontal change it is the rise over the run it is the change in y over the change in x and it is denoted by the letter m so as formula in in solving for the slope we have m is equal to uh, the second y minus the first y divided by the second x minus the first x 
So we will have to to uh, apply that formula later. Okay, let's have these ways to find the slope of a line. Uh, there are three ways. So I'm going to teach you how to find the slope of a line using these three ways. The first is from a point, if you see a line on the Cartesian plane, you look at a point, you choose a point, and from that point, you count vertically over, and you count over the count horizontally to another point. So that is the slope change in y over the change in x. Later, I will demonstrate it. Second, use two points on the line. So you find two points, any two points that are on the line, and then you substitute it in the formula y, second y minus the first y, the second x minus the first x. Okay, the third way is you convert the equation into slope-intercept form. Because when you convert the equation into a slope-intercept form, the, the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope. So the m there, the, the number beside x or the numerical coefficient of x is actually the slope. So these are the three ways of finding the slope of a line. Okay, so let us have an example. Find the slope of the linear equation. So this is the linear equation that is given. Sometimes you are given a graph. Sometimes you are only given the equation. But this time you are given the graph and the equation. So when you are given a graph, you will just have to, the first way is you look for a point. Okay, any point will do. For example, I will, I will have this point here that is 0, negative 2. So from 0, negative 2, I will have to, um, I will have to, this one, 0, negative 2, I will have to uh, count there, 1, 2. So z from negative 2, count upward. That is the change in y. So the change in y, you go up to positive 1, to, po to 0, you stop there, and then you go to the right so that you will be able to go to another point in the line. So you count how many numbers for the x, that is the change in x. So from 0, you go 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that is 4, meaning... 2 over 4. So your, your slope is equal to the slope for a while. Okay, so the slope m is equal to you go up 2 over you go to the right 4. 4 numbers. And so when you when you simplify the fraction, it is equal to one half, or it is equal to 0 0.5, meaning the slope is one half. What did I, well, uh, let me repeat that. From the point, this one, from the point neg uh, 0, negative 2, you go up 1, 2, and then that is 2 over you go to the right so that you will go to another point in the line. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So you go to another point from this point, from this point here, this one, to this point. So that is over 4. That's why your slope is 1 half. Okay? That's one way of finding the slope. Another way of finding the slope is you will use the formula change in y over the change in x. So we have it this one. I'm done with number one. We will now go to number two. So you will find two points on the line. So we have zero, negative two. Where is that zero, negative two? Okay, it's in here, this part, this one. 
that's 0, negative 2, this part here. Okay? That is 0, negative 2. And then you have 6, positive 1. Where is that 6, positive 1? Okay, can you see where is that 6 and then positive 1? You go 1, this is the 6 here. And then the positive 1, where is that 1? Okay, this one. Oh, wait. Okay, this one. Okay, that one. Okay, that is the 6 <coughs> positive 1. So just choose two points on the line. There are many points, but I choose the points that are uh, exact whole number. And so when you have that point, you label each point. So for the first point, 0, negative 2, you label the 0 for your x1. The first x, you label negative 2 for your y1, the first y. And then the second point, 6, 1, you label the first, the first number as your x2. And then the second number as your y2. So how about if you interchange it like uh, the 6, 1 will be your first point and then the 0, negative 2 will be your second point. It's okay. You will get the same answer as long as you will not mix up the numbers. Just label where is x1, where is y1, and where is x2, where is y2. So it could not be that this is x1 and the other is y2. It cannot be like that. If it is x1, the partner or the pair should be y1. And if the number x is x2, the pair is y2. So you you substitute the numbers correctly in the, in the formula. Y2 is the 1, the yellow 1. So you put there 1. And y, Y1 is the blue 1. So you put minus and then the Y1 is negative 2. So minus negative 2 over uh, the X2 is the green 1, 6. So 6 minus the X1 is the red 1. So that is 0, 6 minus 0. So 1 minus negative 2 is positive 3. You, you review on your integers. 1 minus negative 2 is positive 3. 6 minus 0 is 6. So you simplify 3 over 6, that is 1 half. So whether you use the first way or the second way, the answers are always the same. Okay, how about the third way? You can just... Uh, if you are given the linear equation, you can just use the linear equation in finding the slope. You, trans you transform the given equation into a slope-intercept form. You see, that becomes, we already transformed it earlier. So, you transpose positive 3x, it becomes negative 3x and then plus 12. You divide negative 6y by negative 6, so it becomes y equals negative 3 divided by negative 6 is 0 0.5, positive 0 0.5. And 12 divided by negative 6 is negative 2. And so, as I've told you, the slope-intercept form is in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope so the m is the number beside x so since in the transformation of that equation the number beside x is 0 0.5 so the slope is 0 0.5 so in the three ways of finding the slope the slope is always the same are always the same okay let's have number two find the slope of the linear equation Sometimes the linear equation is only given through graph or sometimes it's given through the equation. So if it is the graph, still the same, you will have to find a point. So I, will, I, I decide to find a, a point here. So I want this 0, 0. Okay, the origin. Okay, can you see that? The origin. 
that's the zero zero that's my first point so I will go up to go to the next point so I will have one two three and then I'll go to the next point so three that is M equals three over so the first the numerator should be the going up and then the denominator is going to the right or to the left so I will go to the right to go to the next point this point here kanisha nga point that one so to go there there is only one number this one okay so that is only over one so that means m is equal to three the slope is equal to three so let us have another way of answering that okay you see the you did you see the the equation the equation is 3x equals y or y equals 3x so that is the slope intercept form and as I, as I said the slope intercept form the number beside x is the slope that's why the slope here is 3 the, the slope is 3 so whether you you use the uh, whether you use the 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 way you uh, by going up and going to the right or just look at the equation transform it into a uh, slope intercept form your answer your uh, um your your slope is all are always the same the slope for this equation is three okay so that is the the wonders of math so even if you use different ways of solving you will always uh, reach to the same answer as long as you did not uh, violate any mathematical principle okay you have here so we have the change in x i already demonstrated it over the change in y so the change in x you go up that's one two three so that is why it's three over the change in x is only one so three over one then the slope is three okay you could also uh, solve the slope here by looking by using two points on the line so in here i use the two points zero zero and one three so we have here the two points zero zero this is the zero zero okay this one is the zero zero that one that's the zero zero and then the one three is this one above oh sorry okay that one <laughs> I could not mm, okay that one there oh, the la the point on the line okay so those are the two points that I use so just label them correctly the zero is x1 the zero the other zero is y1 and then the one in the second point the green number is the x2 and then the three the yellow number is the y2 so we will now substitute that in our formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so the y2 is 3 minus the y1 that is 0 over the x2 is 1 minus the x1 that is 0 so just just substitute the numbers properly to the formula so that will become 3 minus 0 is 3 1 minus 0 is 1 so the answer is 3 over 1 and the final answer is 3 so it's the same with the answer in the first uh, step first solution number three convert the equation to slope intercept form that is uh, 
the slope intercept form is y equals 3x plus 0. The b there is 0. Because the, uh, the given is 3x equals y, you interchange them, uh, it becomes y equals 3x. And it is understood that the intercept, the y-intercept is 0. So our m or the slope is 3. So that's it. There are three ways to solve for the slope. Okay. So find the slope of the linear equation, that one. Uh, we have the linear equation y minus 4 equals 0. So as you can see, uh, there is no x. So uh, it would be good if we will just, in this, in this given, we will just use the two points. Oh, just if there is no, if one variable is missing, then it would be best if we use the formula uh, for you find two points and then label it and then substitute it in the formula. So for the two points here, um, for a while. Okay, so I chose the points 0, 4 and 1, 4. So as you can see, we have here the 0, 4. This is 0, 4, that one, oh, that one. Hmm. Okay, there, that's the 0, 4. And then the 1, 4, of course, this one, the next point, oy, that one. Okay, so that is the 0, 4 and the 1, 4. Okay, and so we 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 now uh, substitute those numbers in our formula. Okay, uh, we have zero for the x one. So for the y two, that is four minus the y one, the blue number that is four. So four minus four is zero. For the uh, denominator. 1 minus 0, the x2 is the green number, the x1 is the red number. So 1 minus 0 is 1. You see, 0, 0 divided by 1 is equal to 0. So when the graph is a horizontal line, or when the given equation has no x, then the, the slope of that line is always zero when the line when the graph of the line or the linear equation is horizontal then the slope is zero okay next we'll go to the next uh, exa uh, next given we will have find the slope of the linear equation x plus 3 equals 0 so as you can see uh, there is only one letter x so i told you that if the letter is only one or there is missing letter it would be best if you will just use the the solution wherein you find two points and use the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so we have here the formula so we are getting the slope of the line that is vertical. So when we use the formula negative, I, I, I choose here negative 3, 0. So the negative 3, 0 is this part. Okay, so negative 3, 1, negative 2. This is negative 3, 0, that part here. Okay, there. And then the... Uh, negative 3, 1 is also negative 3 and the 1 is there, that 1. That is negative 3, 1. So, we will now, you can use other points, you will get the same answer for the slope. So, we will now substitute negative uh, for y2, that is 1, minus y1, that is 0 divided by x2 that is negative 3 minus x1 that is negative 3 so 1 minus 0 is 1 
for the denominator, negative 3 minus negative 3 is actually equal to 0. And 1 over 0 is not 0. The value is 0 when it is in the numerator. But since 0 is in the denominator, the answer there is undefined. Okay, that's undefined. So, meaning the slope is undefined. So, when you have a vertical line, then the slope of that vertical line is always undefined. Okay, so we have here the last one. Okay, since you already know how to graph the line and how to find the slope, I have here uh, some activity. According to the instruction, graph the line going through the given point and having the given slope. So, you are given one point and you are given a slope. The slope is 1 over 2. Now, you already know that the slope it is the change of x, oh no, the change of y over the change in x. So, it is just easy to graph this uh, lines with the given uh, with this given here so how do we do that okay so first we will graph the line for 2 5 and the slope is 1 half so we will do like that you start from the point 2 5 so you look at where is 2 5 so you have the x that is 2 and then the 5 is above there so uh, wait for a while mm. <clears throat> so we have here 2 5 is this part here 2 5 that line there that's the point okay that's 2 5 and then you go 1 1 means you go up it's positive you go up if it's negative you go down so since it's since it's Kanyang positive, you go up there. So that becomes, you go there to the 6, there, that one. And then the over 2 means you go to the right. So go to the right, 1, 2, so that one. So the point now is here. So these two points, you will have your line there, like that. Okay, the point is here and there. So there are two points now. You will just count that off. So to, to give the, uh, the answer clearly, we will have this one for a while. Okay, so this is now the answer. You see, you go up, uh, you start at 2, 5, and then you go up 1. So one point up. And then one point up, and then there. So, okay, so you go up one point there, that one, and then you go down, or you go to the right two numbers. So, from two, you go two, three, four. And so the second point will be at 4, 6, the second point. And then you will just uh, connect them and that is already the graph of the line or the graph of the given. Okay, let's proceed to number 2. We have here uh, graph the, this one, graph the line that passes through 0, 2 and the slope that is 7 over 4. So you go to the 0, 2 first. So where is 0, 2? 0, 2 is this part, this one. Okay, that one. This is the 0, 2. Okay, there, that one. That's 0, 2. And then you go up 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 so you go up in here and then it so it's, you go to the right 4 4 so 1 2 3 4 so your next point is this part here there 
that one. So, you have your first point here and next point there. So, when you graph it, you will have like that. Okay? So, that is how you graph that line. Okay, let us see the, the, uh, the clearer uh, answer. So, there. So, you have here mm, the 0, oh, 0, 2. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, 0, 2 is not in this part. Sorry. So, the 0, 2 is here pala. Above the, uh, it's on the y-axis. That is my fault. It's not on the x-axis. The x is 0. The 2 is on the y, so it should be here. And then you go up there. And then you go to the right four counts. So this is now the line. Okay. okay. Next, we go to the next given. I think this is the last one. So we have here uh, 3, 5, and M is undefined. So remember that if M is undefined, the, the line there should be vertical. But if M is 0, the line should be horizontal. So we will look for 3, 5. 3, 5 is, we have here 3 for the X. So we have this one, 3 for the X. And 5 is the Y number. So you go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the line is here. Okay. So that is 3, 5. This one is here. So since it is vertical line because the uh, slope is undefined, so you will just line up from here. Straight lang yun. And that becomes your line. Because you are asked to graph the line that passes through the point and having a slope of that given. So that is now your line. So, to have a clear answer, you have that one there. Okay? So, that is how you graph the line when you are given only a point and a slope. That is how you graph the line. Okay? So, this time, you will now answer a drill. Okay? You can answer this drill and then... Um, uh, I will just, if I will have time, I can give the answers also for the, from uh, during uh, my next videos. Okay, so graph the equation 6x minus 3y equals 15 and find the slope of the line. Number two, graph the equation 5x plus 10y and find the slope of the line. Graph, graph the equation y plus 5 equals 0 and find the slope of the line. Number 4, graph the equation x minus 4 equals 5 and find the slope of the line. And then what is the slope of the line with the equation 3x plus y equals 9? Number 6, what is the slope of the line that passes through 4, negative 4 and 6, 8? 7, draw the graph of the line passing through negative 4, 0 and having a slope of 3, 4. Number 8, graph the line passing through negative 5, 5 with a slope of negative 2, 5. And number 9, what is the slope of the line shown in the graph below? Okay, here is the graph. So what is the slope of this line? So, I already taught you how to find the slope when you are given a line. And so, uh, I hope you will be able to answer these things. And so, that ends our... Uh, wait, there is still number 10. True or false? Write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Num letter A. All vertical lines have undefined slopes. Letter B, not all horizontal lines have a slope of zero. So, you just write there, true or false. And I think that ends our discussion for today. Thank you for watching. 
I hope that you will have more blessings and that you will be protected and also your family. Let us see each other again during my next video. God bless you all. Goodbye.